Okay, let's sit and meditate for a few minutes. Hainam bhavana sapakna. Close your eyes and take a couple of good long deep in and out breaths and notice where you feel the breathing. Long breathing feels good, keep it up. If it doesn't feel good, you can change. You can make it shorter, more shallow, faster, slower, heavier, lighter. Take some time to see what feels good right now and keep watch over your mind. Make sure it stays with the breath. So you're actually watching two things. You're watching the breath and you're also watching the mind watching the breath. This ability to watch your mind is very important because otherwise you can go thinking all kinds of things and have no idea where you're going and where you're coming from, which is the way most of us are most of the time. Some, like somebody hopping on a train and then another train comes by and you hop on that and you hop on that and you have no idea where you've been, where you're going. The mind has this ability to think, and you want to use it well. You want to use it for the purpose of true happiness. This is one of the reasons why we have respect for the Buddha, as he taught us that true happiness is possible, and it's something we can gain through our own efforts. In other words, he has us respect our abilities. And part of respecting them means you want to train them so you get the most out of them. Otherwise, you've got all these good things inside you. You've got this mind that can think all kinds of things. And what do you use it for? If you just use it for little temporary pleasures, those pleasures are going to go away, and then what do you have? You have the mind weakened, and you have the mind dependent on things that it can't rely on, which is putting it in a really miserable place. We've got this power to think. We've got this power to know things. Why don't we use it to find a happiness that's more lasting, something that's really reliable, and something that's blameless. In other words, it doesn't harm anybody at all. Because if your happiness harms somebody else, or your way of ha finding happiness harms somebody else, then they're not going to stand for it. So you want to be really circumspect in how you use your mind, because it does have a wide range of abilities. As the Buddha once said, the, look at the animal kingdom and all the different kinds of animals there are. And he said the human mind is even more variegated than that. It's capable of all kinds of stuff. So ask yourself what you're doing with your mind. What use are you getting out of your mind? If you aim at a happiness that's reliable, a happiness that's blameless, okay, that's a good use of the mind. Because you really have something to show for all your efforts. Because every day we're making efforts to do this, do that, all in the hopes of happiness. But if our efforts are scattered, then there's no guarantee that we'll find any happiness at all. Or whatever happiness we do find is going to be very temporary. So focus on getting your mind under control so that it can aim at a happiness you want. This requires mindfulness, i.e. keeping your aims in mind and also keeping in mind what you know is right, what will work and will not work. And then be alert to what you're actually doing. Because it's one thing to have good intentions, it's another thing to make sure that your actions really do lead in the direction you want them to go. So you're alert to what you're doing, you're alert to the results, and then you're ardent about if you see that you've done something wrong, you resolve how not to repeat that mistake. This way you can use your mind in a way to train itself so that it raises its level higher and higher. And when you get to the happiness that the Buddha found, you find that he really is worthy of respect, because the happiness itself is worthy of respect. It all comes from having some respect for our abilities. So make sure that you take good stock of what you've got here and what the best use of your talents will be, because that will make all the difference in the world.